Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing, Daisy? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Everything good? I'm okay. Hi, Carolina. Teacher, how are you? Great. What about yourself? You seem very happy today. Yes, yes, I, I, I have a good day because mm -hmm. I can to do many things. I could do. Um, pay my bill <laughs> in the in the in my lunch. Um, uh, I I I can to visit. Um, I I could. I could visit um, uh, customers. Yes. I I I am I am feel well because I I have a, a good day. Very productive, it sounds like. Yes. Gabriela. And you, teacher? How's your day, Gabriela? One second. Gabby, are you there? I cannot hear her. Uh, my day, well, you know. You know, Carolina. <laughs> Many class. Yes. Many students. Right. Exactly. So working since since the morning. Yes, yeah, especially with the C suite positions. You know what those are? Not, not only those, but managers from the bank, other companies, online classes, Salvadorian <laughs> students. It's a lot, but it's it's a good thing. I like it. I imagine that 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 you enjoy your your Oh, you think? That's great. It's nice uh, teaching the people. Yes, right? It is great. Yes. Welcome, Anna and Mauricio. How are you doing tonight? Very good, Dijon. Oh, there you are, Miss Hiron. Miss Hiron, where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. Yes, that's I what I thought. <laughs> When I saw your house right now, Ms. Hiron, I thought you lived in Santa Tecla for some reason. <laughs> it looks like it. Okay, very good. But I from I am from to San Miguel. From San Miguel. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Do you happen to live near Plaza Merliot? No. <laughs> oh, Miss Carolina, you live near Plaza Merliot. No, no, no. Eh, eh, I, Santa Tecla is near Merliot. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ana, Ana lives in Santa Tecla. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. And Mauricio is from Sonsonate. Okay, great. So, uh, <laughs> we're going to get started, all right? Let me see. Gabriela, read the objective, please. Okay, at the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. Uh, time events. Very good. We're going to watch a video. So it's a new topic, guys. Please mute the microphone and pay attention. We want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened 
taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago or people used to or 50 years ago and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present and here we use these days, today or nowadays and of course our verbs are is growing, shop and drive which are in the present. Last but not least we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. All right. So uh, let's read some of the expressions, okay? We're going to start with the past. Uh, repeat, say, a few years ago. A few years ago. Used to. Used, used to. to. <coughs> 50 years ago. 50 years ago. Very good. <coughs> that we're going to use with the past, right? With the present, we can use expressions such as these days. These days. These days. Yesterday. Today. 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 Nowadays. 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 What is nowadays? Nowadays. Nowadays. Uh, yes. Hoy en día. Lived and here. You can also use today. Present. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. And for uh, for expressions in the future, uh, we're gonna use soon. soon. Repeat it. Soon. 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 In Twenty years. In, 20 years. Years. in the future. In, in the future. Okay, we're going to start by working with the future, okay? So we're going to use soon, in 20 years, and in, in the future. I would like you to use these expressions, okay? We're going to work in pairs and make predictions about technology in the next 20 years, all right? or using soon or in the future. I just want you to write three sentences of the future. Let me see if this is, if it's the same, we're gonna just do all at once. All right, hold on. Next year, in five years, and in 10 years. All right, let's complete these sentences. All right, uh, we're combining past, present, and future. Do you have any questions about that? Teacher, repeat, repeat nowadays. What do you mean? The, the meaning of nowadays. Hoy en día. Uh -huh. no. Yes, that's I, what it means. What? Hoy en día. Hoy en día. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. So, are you ready to complete the sentences? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's okay, it's working yeah. fairs. Let me know when you finish, please. You can send a message through the chat. Okay, everyone uh, accept the invitation, please. Okay.
Mauricio, did you get the invitation? Mauricio, did you get the invitation? You can hear, and Alejandro is here as well. So maybe Alejandro, can you hear me? Uh, sorry, teacher, I know, sorry, excuse me. All right, I teacher. sent an invitation. Can you accept it, please? Okay, they asked the children if you used to, the five year ago. Right, exactly. Hold on. You're going to work with uh, Mauricio. You're muted. Tienen mute el micrófono, Mauricio. There you are. Say something. Okay, teacher. Okay, can you work with Alejandro? He's here. Okay. Mm. Alejandro. Sorry, teacher. Mm. Uh. I'll repeat in, in, in the, I don't understand. We, right, in the pasaje, <laughs> with my friends, the other, uh, with my friends of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacher, I don't, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. understand what we will do. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Are you on the platform? Yes. I'm right. The last part has an exercise and you have to complete those sentences. So the, the exercise mm -hmm. at the end. I'm what, gonna send a picture. What, mm -hmm. You have to complete the sentence using the expressions from the video. Four point what? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hold on. All right, section 4.2. 4 4.2, 4 okay. Mm. Just set the next, and, and then it's a video, and then, uh -huh. uh, the number one, the, okay play to a park to play not in the park in the in the street in the street, mm -hmm. in the street. no the street teacher the street. in the street or to the street or, or what yeah in the street in, in the, the street, street. okay mm -hmm. five years ago i used to i know because five years ago I, I I don't know. I I work a lot in my company. <laughs> I work. I work. I pasado, verdad, teacher? Uh huh. Yeah, you have to pronounce it as a T. Five years ago. <laughs> my connection is. Bad. Yes. Nubia. All right. Uh, well, Nubia, let's do something. How about you write on your notebook or your laptop the sentences and then uh, it to the chat, okay? So Guadalupe and, and Veronica can work together. Okay. And listen, all right. Hi, Guadalupe. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, if you, Veronica or Guadalupe, are watching TV, could you lower the volume a little bit, please? It's really loud. Uh, uh, hi. Hi, Guadalupe, could you lower the volume a little bit, please? The TV. Ya está el coin, ajá, voy a esto, okay.
I am going to, puede ser al parque o donde usted quiera ir. O sea, como algo en el futuro. Next year I go I go to gym. Gym. Excellent. Uh -huh, uh, next year I am going to visit my daughter. In five years. No, the next year. In five years, I'll, I'll, quiero ver aquí. Um, Hi. In, Hi. What? Hi. Hi. Hola. Hi. Hi. Hola. Hola, hola. In most office today. Hi Guillermo, I am. We are in the platform. Ah, uh, okay. Is the exercise in the section four point four cuatro punto cuatro? Cuatro punto cuatro. Already? Yes, uh, we are. We are doing that. Right. No, because you were supposed to complete the sentences from the image that I sent related to the video. So I don't know if you're, you, did you finish that part? Um, Probably. Yeah. Hold on. We're going to go back. Hold on. Hmm. All righty. I heard some of you practice. Some of you were hesitating on what we had to do and... And that I am alone oh. in the group. You are alone. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Um hold on. Guys, let's mute the microphone, please. And I would like some volunteers to share some of your sentences with me from the video. We were talking about or using these sentences. So who would like to share? Can you see? All right, we were using these, right? Who finished? Who could share some? No volunteers. Teacher. Go ahead. As a child, I as a used child. As a as a child, I used to I used to I used to the, the, I used to the laptop. No, in, used to is it means that you had a habit. So as a child, I used to play soccer. Play mm -hmm. soccer, for example. Very good. Play soccer. All right. A second one. Another volunteer. As a child. Five years ago, I was studying at the university. Who is that? Veronica. Oh, you finished already? You finished no, the university we were, already? Yes. What did you study? International uh, relationships. Oh, that's great. Interesting. Okay. Sorry? No, in a US. Yes. The University of El Salvador. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to do one more. Uh, maybe, Ms. Hiron, would you like to do in five years? In five years. Um, five years ago, uh, I did the United States. We're also learning all our stuff here, right? Well, guys, mute the microphone, please. Everyone, all right, sorry. Ms. Hiron, you were saying? Five years ago, I visited the United States. Sorry, Mr. Alejandro, can you mute the microphone, please? I don't know if he's there. All right, great, very good. Let's continue. That was a little bit distracting. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do the exercise it's a little bit lengthy so uh, we're we will do it in pairs all right so 
So we're using time expressions. Think of which of this make sense based on the tense and based on the expression, all right? So we're going to work in pairs. Let me rearrange the, the groups. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to change a lot of you. Give me one second. Okay. Accept the invitation, please. And if I send the invitation twice, accept it twice because I need to rearrange this. Here we go. Cuatro punto cuatro, okay. Estoy buscando ahorita. Enviar. Se me trabó, no sé por qué, no me da. A mí también, se, no, no me abre. No, no, a mí se me trabó, no, o sea, no me da. ¿Será que son varias opciones? Yes. Okay. Um, most people are going to work at home. Yes. Okay. Let's try. Anna, number five. In the in the city, no way. No way. The pollution is beginning a serious problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. The six. Soon, most people are going to work at home. The seven battle or soon uh, will probably to be city no va en, en 100 años mejor verdad <laughs> in the next 100 years um mm, where is it? there will probably be cities in space space yes Hi, teacher. Hi, are you on your own? Yes, I am. I am in the platform, but no, we couldn't, couldn't enter. Oh, really? Hold on. Okay. 
Uh, Nubia, you don't have access to your platform? No. Okay. Um, Sorry. What ha but what happened? You've never accessed the platform? Or is it just today that you can't? No. Mm, okay. Uh, maybe what we can do, Irene is here, all right? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Where is Irene? Irene, are you in the platform? Hi, Irene. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, you're going to work with Daisy, all right? She's on the platform. We're working on exercise 4.4, so please get there. So you can work together and maybe Irene or you, Daisy, maybe one of you can share the screen so that Nubia can see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Daisy, try to share the screen. It's a no, no, wait. Wait a minute, please. Okay, okay. Um, In the platform, either exercise for point four point four. I'm sending on the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, okay. Cool. All right. Do you have access to it, Irene? Four point four. So you can do the exercise and select the option. Submit it at once. Okay. All right. Ready, Irene? Okay. I, I, I will follow. Okay. Can you see the, the image, I, the image? No, yeah. Okay. I, I get, I, before that would auto model. Right, it's 4.4. Uh -huh, yes, yes, exactly. That's the one. So before that, mm -hmm. discuss and see what it is. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know. Pollution is becoming a serious. Have you finished? Number three, what's number three? Number three, about wow. 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Okay. We finished, teacher. Finish. Great. We're going to go back then. All right. Let's check the answers. Number one. Carolina, do you have the answer to number one? I I have in the in the answer in my I don't found my I think that um number uh, people didn't travel a uh, uh, much from city to city. People didn't travel. Didn't travel. Okay, yes. does everybody agree? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Great. Number two, Mauricio. Number two, before there were supermarkets, mm -hmm. the people used to shop. Sorry, didn't hear anything, Mauricio. Uh, Number one. The people you used to shop at the small stores? Yes. 
Number one. The shop. Okay. Number three. Usaba las tiendas pequeñas. No, don't translate it. It's okay. Daisy, number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. uh, about 500 years ago, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. It could be. Great. Irene? Number, number four in my office today. Offices? Ah, sorry. In my in most offices today, people <laughs> work more than uh, forty hours a week. Very good. All right. Next one, um, Gabriela. Repeat, please. The five. Yes. In many cities nowadays. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. A the serious one. problem. Great. A serious. One the serious last one. Oh, it's not the last one. Oh, number six. Well, look. Six. You're muted, well, look. There you are. Number seven, teacher. No, six. 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 Okay. Soon. Uh, most people are going to work at home. Uh -huh. Soon, most people are going to work at home. Is your intonation. Perfect. Ana Giron. In the next hundred years. Uh, there is, will probably be city in the space. Yeah, there will probably be cities in space. Number eight, Selena. I don't know what is the probably answer because um, I think sometime in the future, um, there will probably be cities in the space, but it's yeah. the, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Mm. In the next 100 years, who got the answer for this one, for number, number eight? Nobody? I think most people are going to work at the home in the future. Right, that's the one we haven't chosen. All right, let's see. I think uh, there, there will probably be cities in space. Yes, the seven is. Mm -mm. Hold on. Seven. This one is incorrect about. 500 years ago, this is bad. People played for game of golf. People. For number five, for number five, the answer is people play the first game of golf. Number five. But, I think but it's really the doctor might. Right. Um, let me see. There is still one mistake. That's the only mistake. So, did you get the right answers, everyone? Because number one is four, okay? Number two is one. Three is the last one. I know it's people play the first game of golf. Four is people work more than 40 hours. Everybody should check, okay? In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Soon, most people are going to work at home. And in the next 100 years... Seven, teacher. Seven is... Seven is... Seven. Seven is doctor may find a cure for the common cold. Might find a cure for the common cold. All right. Now doctor. everything is good. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Doctor is the correct. 
Look number seven, Spanaker. Spanaker. Great. And anyway, remember that after you have finished, you can also check here, check the answers, okay? Very good, let's continue. Everybody mute the microphone, please, so that somebody can read the objective. Hey, Irene, can you read the objective, please? Okay. In this class, in this class, you will notice and practice intonation in a statement beginning with a tight phrase. With a tight phrase. Phrase. With a tight phrase, yes. Phrase, okay. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize this phrase using different tenses. And personalize phrases using different tenses. Very good. Thank you. So everybody mute the microphone so that we can listen to a pronunciation. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I... And in these statements... Part... Okay, listen and repeat, everyone. I, I would like to hear you. Is Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. In the past, very few, in the past, very few people, 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 people used computers. Computer. In the past, in the past, in the past, very few people past, used computers. Very, 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 People use computers today. all the time. Today, today people use today. computers all the time. All the time. Great. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the, in the future, there will be a computer, will be a computer in every, 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 every home. Every home. Every home. Every home. It's like na na na. Every <laughs> Very good. Okay, great. We're going to do the same for the expressions here. So, as a child, all right, go ahead. As a, as child, a child, as a child, as a child, I used child. to, I used to eat used chips, to. for example. Two years ago, two years ago, I la la la. Yes, okay. I la la la. <laughs> it's an example. Anyway, in five years, in five years, in five, in five years, years, I will have learned English. I will I have learned English. <laughs> in five years, I will speak English. I will speak English. In five years, I will speak very well English. I will speak English. In five years. In five, in five years, 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 I will speak perfect English. I will, I will be perfect, perfect English. 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 <laughs> okay, perfect. great. Not on average. So that is the one, all right. Maybe. Does anybody want to try this one? We're missing a comma, though. 
Anybody wants to give me an example? Uh, as I, I used to, I, I try, I used to. Yes, go ahead, complete the sentence. Uh, as I, I, I try, I used to. Sorry. Uh, in McDonald's. Sorry, as a child. As a child, I used to eat in McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah really. perfect. What did you is get the, the happy the, bus? The old restaurant in the country, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. Okay. traditional for yes. the child. Perfect. Yeah. All right, number As two. As a child. Veronica, try number two. Um, two years ago, no, sorry. I two years ago, two years ago. I um, birthed my baby, is that correct? I gave birth to my baby. I gave birth to my baby. Say it again. Okay. Two years ago, mm -hmm. I gave birth to my baby. Perfect, excellent. And the last one, uh, Irene. I will be your other baby. <laughs> so that you will have I will have other baby another baby okay very good is that real teacher <laughs> it's real I can understand the that? verb in the baby ah okay let me write it for you it is <laughs> give birth give nació o como tuve uno eh ay give birth sería Di a luz, that is the translation. Di a luz. Yeah, yeah, I gave birth because this is in the past. Mm -hmm. Thank Give you, teacher. <laughs> All right, my pleasure. Very good. Okay, um, <coughs> let's, let's do one more exercise. All right. Ms. Hiron, read the objective, please. In this class, we listen to a um, audio and make the that exercise. As you listen, you will develop skill in listening for main idea. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is incorrect. It's audio, right? And we will do okay. an exercise. Very good. Uh, it's very easy. We only have three. So you know that, right? Uh, try to be on the platform so that you can make progress with me. Once we have finished this, if we finish everything before the due date, we're going to review topics, have more discussions, right? So there's no problem if, we, if we're close to finishing. All right, uh, read the instructions, please, Nubia. Nubia Amaya. Yes, you can hear. Daisy? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Nubia, go ahead. I'm listening to people discuss change in the neighborhood. Check the topic each person. person. Very good. All right, we're simply going to answer three questions, right? Uh, what they, what topic they're discussing. So everybody should be on section 4.8. Are you there on that section? Yes. All right, great. Let's listen to the audio. Everybody mute the microphone, please, and let's do the exercise. Pretty mute the microphone, everyone. I still hear one person. Oh, yeah. Here. And here. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. 
When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. All right, did you get the answers? Number one, what is it, guys? Anybody can participate. Environment. Environment. Great. Number two. Transportation. Transportation. Did everybody get the same? Very good. And number three, what is it? Guadalupe. Families. 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 Excellent. Let's check. And everything. Is correct. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Okay, we almost finished this section. What about the midterm? Have you worked on it already? No. no. Not yet. Are you going to do it throughout the weekend? No yet, teacher. But during the weekend, you will, right? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe teacher. You have to do it throughout the weekend. Okay, so next week, we'll finish section five, and with that, we'll be done again. Time flies, doesn't it? No? <laughs> All right, any questions? No. No, teacher. No, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was a pleasure seeing you, and um, mm -hmm. I hope to see you tomorrow again, okay? See you Thank tomorrow. you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Tomorrow, Friday. Sorry, tomorrow. Friday. Okay. See you on Monday. On oh, Monday. Yeah. Monday. 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 Uh -huh. Until Monday. Monday. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank bye. you. Bye. Good night for Thank all the night. Good night.